uh, we did review uh, as to actually what has happened in terms of the liquidity moving from banks towards the NDFCs and from the NDFCs to further the customers who need that money. So that took a lot of our uh, discussion time. And uh, I'm happy to say that the banks have really gone ahead with the planning and also identifying such NBFCs for whom they can straight away lend. Many of them have already been uh, given the facility and many others are in the pipeline. Each time I say uh, uh, some things are in the pipeline, I'll also tie it up with some action that I'm taking as a result of today's meeting. So on the M uh, scheduled commercial banks, <coughs> sitting with liquidity, the impression that is uh, prevailing outside, banks are sitting with liquidity, liquidity, NBFCs are not getting, no, the situation is very clearly changing, and the difference is felt in terms of numbers and in terms of the projects that are being discussed also. Similar is the story for the pooled asset related matter, where banks have definitely gone ahead, identified, and in many cases, the ratings have also come back to the banks about the quality of assets. Even on that, the movement is moving forward. We have now, and uh, MOS Anurag Thakur will be in charge of doing this particular assignment. We have decided that in 200 districts of the country, between now and the 29th of September, they shall be uh, a gathering which the banks will have of the NBFCs with whom they have tied up and given liquidity and retail customers of the bank or newer retail customers of the bank all coming together in an open, uh, in the sense in a public place, in an, under a shamiana hopefully, where it will be available for people to see that the banks are giving the NBFCs and the NBFCs are before them. They are going to sit and invite anybody who wants to deal with them. Similar, the attempt will be made by the bank itself to encourage its own customers, regular customers to come with newer people who want credit to be extended. So in a way, it shall be a public affair where the bank will lend to the uh, NBFC or the NBFCs who have now benefited from the liquidity being given to them will be there and they will also be retail customers who would come claim anything that they want for credit. They can belong to the famous RAM category which is the retail, they can belong to agriculture which means farmers, they can also belong to uh, MSME sector. We are also had adding those who want loans for houses, those who want vehicle loans also to come there. So uh, the range can be anything, SAGs, Mudra, vehicle loans, house loans, MSMEs, any um, FPOs, any of them can come there and that day sitting there they can sort out the loan requirements. So in the public view, Scheduled banks will now show that they are really indeed pushing the liquidity through the NBFCs or directly to the customers. This shall happen in first 200 districts between now, which means from after Tuesday, till 29th of September. After this, the next 200 districts will happen between 10th October and 15th of October. So in two tranches, 400 districts of the country will have their neighborhood NBFCs or NBFCs which operate in this area linked with banks and getting newer customers to come and take credit. For which we have also clearly told the bankers, I'm not interested in getting the statistics of I have got in my ledger this many number of customers have given loans so I can send it to Delhi. Banking secretary will get this information that I have given loans. For every one old customer who wants credit, I have said five new will be brought. That is the thumb rule we have offered. 
that for every one customer who wants a loan, please give him. Please give him. But for every one who you give now, you will bring five new world ones. Fresh. Somebody who's never taken loan from the bank should be brought in and given for the category in which he wants. Vehicle loan, farmer, or housing, or he may belong to a FPO, anything. So we do not want recycling alone. We also want recycling. Old customers can also get it, but newer ones will also have to be brought in. So it's very well for us to have said all this, and it's very well for the banks who are going to do it, but to make sure that the people's elected representatives, ministers or MPs also are there just to ensure that the plan of the government to ensure that the available liquidity is really pushed towards the customer through the NBFCs where they choose to or directly will happen. And therefore, MOS will identify members of parliament or ministers to be present physically during that function in, in these 400 districts. 200 to start with and the next 200. There exists a provision given by the Reserve Bank of India to ensure that MSMEs, if they are stressed assets, they may be SMA1 or they may be SMA2. The Reserve Bank's existing provision itself empowers the banks to not declare them NPA even after the 90 days. So if they are a stressed asset in MSME, the bank has enough powers given by the Reserve Bank to not declare an NPA and if possible work it out with him to restructure his loan so that he can get out of the difficult situation. From our discussion with the banks, it looked that that order may exist, but many of them had not availed of it. So very clearly, we have told them, invoking that RBI issued guidelines till March 31st, 2020, no stressed asset MSME will be declared an NPA. No stressed asset MSME will be declared an NPA. Not just that much. We've also requested at the branch level, the bank should make an effort to sit with such stressed asset MSMEs and work it out with them to get them out of that situation. So one thing, they shall not become an NPA till 31st March 2020. In the meanwhile, banks will have to sit with them and work it out to say how best they can come out of that situation, even if it means additional infusion of some credit. <laughs>